from two and a half to one and a half million years ago, a new species of hominid evolved in Africa, which no longer bore the name Australopithecus, but rather the name Homo. And so this hominid, although it was about the size of the Australopithecines, uh, bears the same genus name as ourselves. They differed from uh, Australopithecines in a few characteristics. Their face was flatter. The face decreased in width. The nasal opening was more sharply defined. The post-canine teeth were smaller. The cranium, and thus the brain, was enlarged compared to the Australopithecines. The cranial capacity of Australopithecus ranged from 500 cc's to 800 cc's and increased gradually uh, from the most primitive earliest fossils to the latest ones. Not only was the frontal region of the cranium expanded, but also the posterior region uh, was wider and the foramen magnum was modified. In one endocast of the brain, there is a bulge in the region of the brain corresponding to Broca's area, an important speech center in modern human brains. Homo habilis stood approximately 5 feet tall and weighed about 100 pounds, with females being smaller than males. The thumb was similar to humans and more flexible than that in more primitive species. The foot was less flexible than in chimps, and the degree of possible abduction of the foot was limited. While some features of the lower leg were considered primitive, others were more advanced, not found in any ape. The literal translation of Homo habilis is handyman, which refers to the simple tools which were found at many sites.